Hello there. The weekend could be ending with a bang for some of us as we see the increasing threat of some heavy thundery showers developing. Throughout Saturday, there's been a bit of a battle for our weather between this area of high pressure out in the Atlantic that has stretched its way across parts of Scotland, keeping things relatively fine. But closer towards Iberia, there's this area of low pressure that's wanting to also exert its force on our weather. That has been bringing some showery outbreaks to certainly southwestern areas at least. It's also this battle between slightly cooler and milder, warmer conditions. The area of high pressure has been helping to filter in that slightly cooler air mass across the northern half of the UK, but low pressure in the south is wanting to build in that humidity and warmth from parts of continental Europe. It's increasingly looking as we head towards the end of Sunday that it's the low pressure that will win its way out, steadily progressing its way northwards and combining forces with another area of low pressure closer towards Iceland and effectively squeezing that high pressure out, providing that humid air across much more of the UK, and it's that combination of humidity and the heat that will provide that thundery outbreaks with the unsettled conditions. But for now, on Saturday evening, still generally some lighter showers around, but they will be pushing their way from parts of southwest England over towards Wales into Northern Ireland for the early part of Monday morning. Might see a few sharp ones in the mixture as well. The cloud building across much of England, Wales and Northern Ireland as well, so generally the southern two-thirds of the UK starting to now see that more humid and warm air filter its way in. So temperatures here won't be dropping too far at all overnight, generally mid to high teens for many towns and cities. But across the far north of Scotland, that's where we are holding on to that slightly cooler air mass. And underneath the clear skies as well, temperatures will certainly be falling off much more sharply down to around 2 to 5 degrees Celsius quite widely, but even close to freezing with some frost possible in those sheltered rural areas. The clear skies as well across northern Scotland does mean it'll be pretty good viewing conditions for the aurora, which will be enhanced tonight. So do take a look to the skies if you are out and about. As we head throughout Sunday then, continuing to see that humid air move its way northwards in combination with the cloud and showery outbreaks of rain, initially across Northern Ireland, spreading into Northern England and Scotland at later. Parts of Cape Ness over towards the Northern Isles holding onto the sunshine for most of the day. It's here though in the south where we start to see the next band of showers moving their way in and it's these that could prove particularly potent with some heavy thunderstorms, downpours in the mixture, hail and lightning also possible. Generally it'll be southwest England Wales that see some of the strongest and heaviest downpours but there's still the risk of some thunderstorms and lightning across southeastern areas of England as well. So do just take care because some localised flooding is possible and may provide some travel disruption throughout the day. Temperatures underneath all that cloud as well, generally now holding up between 17 and 22 degrees Celsius. So for most of us in that warm and humid air, Northern Ireland, parts of central Scotland, seeing those temperatures just slightly higher compared to Saturday. Not quite as high as the 28 degrees Celsius that we have seen across southeast England on Saturday. The increased amounts of cloud just holding temperatures back ever so slightly, but still warm if you do see some sunshine and relatively humid. Into Sunday evening, continuing to see that northwards progression of some of those showers, some further ones pushing their way in for Wales and eastern areas of England. There is some uncertainty in regards to how widespread these could develop, but there is the potential into the latter part of Sunday that, again, we could see some particularly potent heavy thunderstorms developing with very large hail and frequent lightning. So it is worth keeping up to date with the forecast for these, and we'll have further updates on exactly how these could develop over the next 24 hours or so. Further towards the north, the rain that was initially across Northern Ireland, Northern England, spreading its way across Scotland will actually help reactivate some of the rain across the far northwest as well. That turning heavier across parts of the Outer Hebrides and Western Scotland throughout the second half of the night and eventually forming this more longer band from north to south across western areas, including parts of Northern Ireland and the far southwest of England. With all the cloud around and those heavy outbreaks of rain and the increasingly blustery winds, it will be quite a warm night for everyone now that that mild and humid air has spread across all areas of the UK. So certainly not as chilly for the far north of Scotland, even holding up around 11, 12 degrees Celsius here, but there's still the potential for mid locally high teens across some areas of southern England. As we head throughout the start of the new working week then, it's a case of us watching this band of rain slowly progress its way from the west and over towards the east. Again, could be some heavy downpours in the mixture here with further hail and thunderstorms also possible. 
the rain will be most persistent for parts of northeastern Scotland. Generally elsewhere, we will start to see some brighter spells developing into the second half of the day as that cold front eventually swings its way through. Still with a scattering of showers to watch out for, and some of those, again, still could be quite sharp. Will certainly be a blustery day for all of us, but in amongst all of that, temperatures holding up around 15 to 21 degrees Celsius. So now a bit more of an east-west contrast in our temperatures rather than the north-south split that we have seen of late. Generally, those western areas, temperatures just slightly lower, whereas eastern areas holding up a slightly bit more. And that's just because of the cold front that is swinging its way through. Ahead of that, we are still holding on to that slightly more humid and muggy air. So where you hold on to that for most of the day throughout Monday, that is just helping hold temperatures up. But a shift of winds to more westerly direction, further towards the west, that's helping to feed in that fresher air from the Atlantic as we head throughout Monday. And that will continue to progress its way over towards the east throughout the rest of the day. But we then look towards the Atlantic as another area of low pressure wants to move its way in for the middle part of the week. So we're not quite out of the woods yet. And there is certainly further showers and rain on the cards for many of us. So do stay up to date with the forecast. We'll have the latest across all of our social media channels, as well as these video forecasts on YouTube, the app and the website. We'll see you again soon. Bye bye.